What it's bracken guys, welcome to episode 4 of my Mansfield Town playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And as you can see, I did play 4 games actually off camera. I Again, I've been having problems with OBS unfortunately, but uh, taking a look at these results. This was actually, I wanted to show this match, but I'm glad I didn't now because it was incredibly boring. You can take a look at these stats. Um, but crazily enough against Knott's County, you know, um, a pretty significant rival of Mansfield Town, we were able to grab a victory in penalty kicks. Um, I believe it was, uh, we won 9-8 to eight in penalty kicks, as you can see right there. Um, but then after that, I thought we'd be able to build up on that win, but I did put a strong squad. I think that has really hurt us as far as, you know, match fitness goes. We went and lost a match against Exeter. They just completely dominated the match for the most part, uh, grabbing a goal there. I noticed one of the problems with our side is our lack of pace on the back line. Again, Matt Green from Wickham Water is able to grab three goals. But you can see we were creating some chances in these games, but our defense just severely let us down. Uh, as you can see, Toffa Zoli has been getting beat over the top like crazy lately. Uh, he's a pretty big guy, but uh, we definitely need kind of a quicker partner I think in defense for him but I'm not sure how to go about it but I did actually give Oliver Kemen a chance and he was pretty solid until he got hurt of course um, and you can see some of these stats again they just created a lot more chance from us only two shots on target we had uh, Beavers was pretty bad Sutton uh, Toffazoli and with that I'm actually going to be making some changes it's a bit of a reach um, with this as you can see, everyone just played terrible in that match, really. But uh, it's a bit of a reach so far. Tactically, I think it's going to be a very interesting formation, to say the least. Uh, uh, it's basically going to be a 5-3-2. I don't really have the wingbacks for it, but we're going to have to make it try to make it work. I have Lamb, who I really like, has some pace down the wing, can cross a little, but he's going to be on his on his weaker foot. So we'll see how that works out. And then we have Marston, who's a very young player. So he's going to be thrown into the fire, basically. Um, he's going to be playing the other wing back here. As you can see, he's not very familiar with the position, but uh, I think we have to make try to make it work. He has decent crossing. He's right-footed. He has decent work rate, determination, stamina, pace, fitness, acceleration. So he can work out in that spot. We just have to find something, to be honest, because I think Junior Brown can play that wing back spot eventually, but he is hurt right now. I think this injury is pretty severe for him. So what we'll to see uh, if he could slot in. Uh, once he's able to return. We, we do have to make some changes. I do have Kemen playing back in defensive midfield. I thought he was pretty solid. Dempster uh, is actually back out on loan with a, a conference side. Then have a few other guys sent like Matt Reed as well. And then in the midfield we'll have Raven Hill of course can win the ball nicely. Then we'll have Clements playing in that deeper role if he's going to be able to push up as an attacking as an advanced playmaker. Right now due to fitness we have Fisher and Blair. Oliver's natural fitness is just honestly absolutely terrible as you can see with that. Uh, it's only 8 so he's just so tired with these continuous fixtures one after another in this league. We have Liam Hearn who actually, I mean he did okay but then we have to bench Bingham because honestly he's been pretty terrible. He does have that pace factor, but the, we have Blair there who's actually had a better strike rate basically um, for a guy who's not the best technically or anything, but uh, he seems to find a way to score for us. Then we have Alex Fisher who's going to get a shot for us. I actually told him I was going to give him a shot, but uh, his pace is definitely looks like it can be deadly. His decent work rates, so that'll uh, be something to look out for with him. Um, may actually move him to the defensive forward then have Blair be the poacher uh, but I'm not sure uh, who I should have to be the poacher we'll see take a look at Blair as a poacher compared to uh, Fisher real quick before we get set for this first matchup yeah I think I'll have Blair be the poacher in this one but uh, we'll see how it goes now as we get into this match Actually, instructions also. I'll take a look at them first. Uh, definitely want to hold possession a little bit. We're going to try to close down. I'm going to play a deeper defensive line because that's, I told, as I said before, the problem has been, you know, the defense has just not been able to catch up to those long balls played over the top. I think we could still try to play a little bit more direct maybe, but uh, we'll see how it goes. If we, can, if we can't get anything with this type of settings uh, first, we'll have to make changes but uh, we'll get in this matchup now. Okay, I have my team set. But uh, yeah, this should be an interesting fixture with this change. We'll see how it works. Uh, <laughs> I've done well with four, th five, three, twos in the past. I remember I, um, I think it was like the Chicago Fire or someone when the game first came out, and it was decent. 
But uh, we'll just go into this match now. I think I'll make sure we close down the wingers just so they don't cause us too many problems. But yeah, that'll be it. Uh, have a flexible shape also. So Clements here play the ball to Blair. And of course, I like having a Marston out pretty wide there. It gives a nice bit of width, but we do have that deep defensive line because we're forced to do our lack of pace. We'll see. Uh, would love to at least be able to get a result in this episode. That'll be fine with me. We need to get back on track after those three straight losses. And well, I mean, we hadn't won that previous fixture technically, as it was a draw, then went to penalties. But uh, we are actually holding the ball nicely, as you can see by that possession at the bottom here. Looks like we're doing a decent job with possession. We just have to try to, you know, get that goal. Um, Blair is offsides quite a bit, it looks like, but uh, that's okay. We'll see here. Looks like a chance from Marston. Put the ball in. Marston can cross this in. He has decent crossing. Put this into the box. Oh, he's going to get fouled by Danny Granger. Very similar name to the Danny Granger of the Indiana Pacers, of course, an NBA reference. But uh, we'll see here. We have a little chance. See if we can make something happen. Oh, uh, Granger does get a yellow card. This looks like a. They're defending it pretty nicely, it looks like. But, oh, Blair is going to hit that. No, it was Riley. Excuse me. He's going to hit that wide, unfortunately. Ball back here to the middle. Looks like some good little play. Link up play. Sweeney back to Rolden. He's going to turn and shoot. And that is a good save from Pidgeley. Thought that might have been a goal. Looks like a bit of a threatening situation there. But, again, playing decent. Kevin is not playing that well. But uh, that's okay. As... Just kind of has to get into those tackles. Usually, the ratings for defensive midfields can defensive midfielders can be skewed at times. But Marston loses the ball right there. Definitely have to close down Elliott's. And oh man, looks like he was really going to go for one right there. But I uh, Pidgeley saves that. And back in 40, 40th minute, I'm not bad with this right now. Raven Hill again with another yellow. Uh, he's just a yellow machine, unfortunately. So really, our strikers aren't doing too well, but uh, I'll probably have to wait to make the changes to the 60th minute, maybe, uh, just because we don't have too many fresh legs. If I would just make those direct changes, most likely, to those two guys. Oh, that's a very dangerous pass. That is a no-no. You do not make that pass through the middle like that, but uh, we get away with it, thankfully. Ball back here to Marston, to Blair. Played. Oh, that's a good ball. Looks like Fisher. Is he fouled? Oh, man. Uh, considering all the times we've fouled in the box, I was hoping we would get a call. How does Marsden not get that? But uh, ball's going to go back here. Long ball again. Those have been so deadly to us. Try to hold some position. Uh, but a good ball here to Blair as we play a direct ball back to Fisher. Find the overlap of Lamb. Okay, you can send this in with your right foot, Lamb. They usually don't cross with their weak foot, which can be frustrating. But, oh, okay, he switches play to Marsden, who's a better can cross naturally from that side and that goes all the way through actually the keeper looks like he made a save there but uh good stuff we're looking pretty threatening now bowen to clemens to riley oh tough as only can't get back on that flicked across across goal might have just been going for goal but uh either way not bad uh looks like i have to probably take off blair probably bring on bingham yeah i'm gonna take off blair now marston is struggling i understand that oh he's hurt it looks like Ooh, I'm liking this formation too, but we don't really have anyone that could s sit in there. So this is what we've settled on now that we have to deal with uh, these injuries. Basically, I'll have Blair step in on the l playing wide left, Lamb wide right. Jack Thomas came in for Marsden, basically. Clement's going to push up a little bit higher than we're going to have Bingham come on as um, basically playing up top on his own as a poacher. And with that, I think we also... Uh, Switch tactically to play a little bit more di direct. Pass in the space I'll put on also uh, as we really want to try to, you know, take advantage of that. Clear ball to flanks. Okay, I may put that option as well. Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to put that option. But either way, looks like uh, we'll have to adjust very quickly here. Just a result would be fine. Let's get on and grab a result to get us back into some form. Clement is going to grab a card. It looks like a yellow card from the youngster there. And a free kick and cleared out, thankfully. Balls me played back out wide here to Dempsey, Clint Dempsey. Oh, my God. How did Pidgeley not come out for that one? They score again. This is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. 
how do we not defend that better Let's see right here who was slow on grabbing that on defending that one Jones I just do not know how you the keeper doesn't come out and you do just allow him to run free like that but uh, here's a chance from Clements into the box gonna fall back to Jones Let's see what he's gonna do with it play the ball back in oh it's a terrible pass trying to play a back pass but that did not work out at all and again a terrible pass Clements back in though to Thomas back to Ravenhill back to Blair to Clements ball back here to Thomas can he finish the oh he hits the crossbar so unlucky um, let's see what we can do I think on second hand we'll push Lamb out to the left bring him out to the right play him as an advance forward inside forward excuse me and Lamb will be attacking obviously and we'll bring on Oliver just for these last few minutes try to have him latch on to something with his big body win us uh, some headers and grab us a goal hopefully ball here to rig sent back out wide to Granger love to try to force a yellow red or whatever on him oh my god some terrible stuff just cannot get anything right here Blair back out to Bingham over the top for him use your pace man oh he's just cannot run at the defense like I was hoping he would yeah 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 back to Lamb to Clements to Thomas hold on to the ball my man Clements let's get a ball forward back to Thomas that's kind of not a great pass but Bingham send something in please ball back to Clements score oh that's a great equalizer from him I always say score <laughs> but uh, yeah that's great stuff I was, wasn't thinking Bingham would send that in properly because he's not the best crosser to be honest but as you can see uh, there's a good job looks like with his left foot back to Clements he's playing that advanced position now and that works out nicely either way but uh, looks like Clements is having himself a nice game so hopefully we can grab another I would love to grab a late, uh, grab a late winner here still have a few minutes left uh, ball here to Ravenhill definitely have the chance you know with this pace off the bench Thomas who's been pushing up nicely and finding some good passes as well ball back to Jones send the ball back in to Cl Kemen can win that ball back back to Lamb let's go what is he gonna do here ball back to Thomas and he's gonna score that the youngster with a big <laughs> goal to go ahead here that is a great finish from Thomas exact I think that's his role now center mid on set on attacking because he has good finishing and everything but a good job from Lamb coming forward Thomas with a first time hit it's gonna uh, go in this is some great stuff from our guys definitely think we have to kinda settle down now though I think we'll bring I don't I wish I brought on another holding midfielder but we actually don't have anything else we can do right now so um, what can I do what can I do I'll probably have to have him stay up there uh, have Clements push out wide and we'll just have them play a little bit more defensively okay uh, defensive wingers will set them to I'm gonna slow the tempo down try to hold some more possession Let's see much lower tempo retain possession uh, can still pass into space we're not gonna look for the overlap anymore but we'll see if this can hold on to the lead for us very exciting matchup uh, definitely think I made the necessary changes now we just have to hold on here unfortunately Luke Jones is injured that is not good man I think I'm just gonna drop I'm gonna have, have I'm gonna have to have him move over here then I think I don't know exactly what I'm doing but we have to do something I can have probably Oliver step in as an anchor man 
just because he has that height, but there's really not too much we can do. I've had, having Lamb train as a right back, so maybe he can help out a little bit, but uh, there really is not much as we're going to be down a man defending these last few minutes. That is very unfortunate uh, to have Jones come down injured. We do have so many tired legs. This is going to be tough here defending these last three minutes. Let's see Lamb going to play the ball to Thomas. Not sure what he was doing there, but uh, ball back in to Bingham. Is he going to latch onto that? He was fouled in the box. It looks like, was he? It looks like it. Uh, oh, okay. The foul was very far out. So never mind. That's really strange. I don't get what happened, but the ball back in. Um, that's a, We should just be holding on to the ball there. That is not good at all. Ball back out wide here. Good job from Reggie Lamb stepping in. Just clear the ball. Clear the ball. Okay, good job. Ball is cleared. Bingham's going to chase after it. Still going to have a, a couple more chances here. It looks like uh, we're playing basically with a five-man at the back. Raven Hill isn't exactly a center back, but he has to step in here. Good job from Thomas. The youngster has come up big in this late match, uh, this late game heroics of his. Um, oh no, that's terrible stuff, however. Offsides, thankfully, so looks like we're going to get away with that one. Ball back in to Thomas. Uh, looks like, again, late in the game. We have about 10 more seconds left. Dempsey might try to try a ball back in. Rig, stop him now. Come on. Young. He has some space, and Pidgeley does a great job deflecting that over the bar. Looked like that was heading into the side netting. As again, we clear this out. And one more stab at it. And we do go away with the win at home. What a comeback victory from the guys. Uh, we'll have to calmly tell them that was really special, guys. Nobody gave us a chance, but you played magnificently. Congratulations. So that is a big win, a big morale boost, I have to say. We are still pretty low on the table, 21st, but look at that. I mean, the gap is not big at all, so uh, we still have plenty of time to make up for it. And I'm still now I'm really not sure about for formation-wise what we're going to do. We have plenty of time to think about it. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully Marsden isn't seriously hurt, but it looks like he is. So take a look at him. Marsden is out. He's awaiting treatment, so we'll probably check up on that in a little bit. So have some time to figure things out. Um, and I'll come back when I get the results for uh, Marston and Jones. Okay, we get Marston already. Never mind. But uh, he's out for four to six, four to five weeks. Very unfortunate. Um, but, of course, grabbing that late victory. Then, of course, Luke Jones is out for three weeks now. So that's definitely a bit de detrimental. Then Ravenhill is going to be out for a game. So that'll make the next game quite interesting. But uh, we'll have to have some guys step in now. But yeah, guys, in the next episode, I believe I'll be showcasing that next match against Stevenage just because, you know, we have that new tactic going. We had a big win in the previous fixture, and I just want to see if we can keep that luck going here. But that, guys, I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys.